Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Raymond Sum. We'll actually have an example here to illustrate how to find the area under the curve and also verify the result using definite integrals. So the question for us is find area under the curve f of x equals to 9x minus x cubed for x greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 3 using limits. Evaluate definite integral from 0 to 3, 9x minus x cubed dx to compare the result. You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, the idea here is to use both the methods of finding area and see how close we are to the results. So when I'm saying that the function f of x is 9x minus x cubed, I could factor this as x if I factor, I get 9 minus x square, right? Which I could also write as minus of x, x minus 3 times x plus 3, correct? So in limited space, we'll try to squeeze in the solution. That means a cubic function leading coefficient negative means going downwards, right? So, so kind of like this. So the graph will be something like this. Okay. We need to find the area between 0 to 3. So this will be 3 for us. So the in between 0 to 3, this interval will be divided into series of rectangles, correct? And we are going to have n rectangles in this series. Let us see what is going to be the width of each rectangle. So let's say width is delta x. Then we need to figure out what is this width. So delta x is going to be 3 minus 0 divided by n. So that will be 3 over n. So basically it means that each rectangle is spaced so that the right hand corner right hand corner of the rectangle is 3 over n units away so the first one will be at 3 over n correct the second one will be where 2 times 3 over n right 2 times 3 over n correct so if i have this one which i am saying the ith one right will be i times 3 over n, correct? So this will be ith one, right? So here, the function value will be f of xi, correct? So in general, right, where i now can vary from 0 to n, right? So this will be xn, correct? Last one. Now, so what we discovered here was that end point of each which is xi is now basically for us i times 3 over n so so we get the area area of each rectangle can be written as what area will be some of these rectangles we'll say some of these rectangles where i goes from 1 to n we are taking the right hand side, right? So we are using right hand corner. Of each rectangle. Right now. So F of X I. Times. Delta X is constant for each. Now this area will be very close to the real value when n is approaching infinitely large number. So that gives us the formula to figure out the area. Clear? Now let's use this formula. 
and find the area. So we have limit n approaches infinitely large sigma sum of all rectangles 1 to n f of xi means we'll replace x with xi right so we have 9 xi minus xi cube right now for us xi is 3 times i over n so we can write this as limit n approaches infinity sigma i equals to 1 to n sorry times delta x right width that becomes the area right so fxi is this length correct this is fxi times delta x so what you get here is xi is 3i over n right so we get here 9 times 3i over n minus 3i over n whole cube everything times delta x delta x is 3 over n okay so this, that's what you get so now you can write this as limit n approaches infinitely large sum i equals to 1 to n 3 times 9 is 27 i and we'll open this rather we can actually multiply by 3 also right so so over n times 3 over n so we are just multiplying with this 3 over n also so minus this gives us 9 i sorry cube right so just 27 i cube over n cube times 3 over n so we multiplied by 3 over n okay so that gives us limit n approaches infinity for i equals to 1 to n so when you multiply you get 3 times 3 9 9 times 9 81 i over n square minus 27 times 3 is 81 i cube over n cube and n n to the power of 4 clear now 81 over n square or 81 over n to the power of 4 is independent of i so we could write this as limit n approaches infinity 81 over n square sigma of i where i changes from 1 to n minus let's put this in brackets 81 over n to the power of 4 sigma of i 1 to n for i cube so we can now use the formula for sum of natural numbers and sum of cubes of natural numbers right so using those formulas we can now write down this as limit n approaches infinitely large we have 81 over n square times sum of natural numbers is n times n plus 1 over 2 minus 81 over n to the power of 4 and here we have n times n plus 1 over 2 whole square correct now let's simplify this all this is to the limit n approaches infinity so we have limit n approaches infinitely large taking n square inside we get what we get 81 over 2 and here we get n square plus n over n square minus 81 over 4 okay now 2 square was force we are taking this outside and n to the power of 4 we are taking n square inside so we'll write n times n plus 1 over n square right whole square now <coughs> limit n approaches infinity <coughs> so that gives us limit n approaches infinitely large now in this part you will say n square over n square is 1 so we get 1 plus 
1 over n. So what we get here is 81 over 2 times 1 plus 1 over n minus 81 over 4 and here again we get the same thing 1 plus 1 over n whole square correct now as you can see as n approaches infinity 1 over n approaches 0 right so so 1 over n approaches 0 when n approaches infinitely large correct so now you can write this as 81 over 2 right that is 81 over 2 times 1 minus 81 over 4 so so we can take 4 common we get 81 2 minus 1 which is which is 81 over 4 so 81 over 4 is basically the area under the curve from 0 to 3 right? unit square so what we find that this area is basically equal to 81 over 4 unit square. Is that clear? Right. So the only thing is that you should remember the formulas for sum of natural numbers and these formulas, right? Which we have directly written here, right? So those are the formulas. They are must. And then you can simplify and get your result. Perfect. Now, let us verify using integrals. Right? So we need to find integral of the same function from 0 to 3. So this could be written as what? So, so the integral uh, we are doing from 0 to 3 for 9x minus x cube dx. Correct? So that is 9x square over 2 minus x to the power of 4 over 4 from 0 to 3. So, so if I write 3 here, I get 9, 3 square over 2 minus 3 to the power of 4 over 4. And that gives you 9 times 9 is 81 over 2 minus 3 to the power 4 is again 81 over 4. We get exactly the same result, right? You can take 4 common. So 81, 2 minus 1, which is 81 over 4. Unit square. Do you see that? So we get exactly same result. Do you see that? So we get exactly... same result right so you can see how the two methods provide you with exactly same result so they are the right ways of doing area under a curve so when n approaches infinitely large so so the concept here was the summation of the areas i 1 to n where the limit n approaches infinity that is kind of critical for f of x i times delta x is basically equal to definite integral from so it depends what interval you're doing let's say interval is from a to b for example right in general we can write from a to b for f of x i times delta x dx so this formula works right so that is a great connection between the limits and the definite integrals. And of course, definite integrals is a much simpler way of finding the area under the curve. So I hope the concept is clear to you. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.